<laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is currently 7.15 in the morning. It's so fucking early for me. Waiting for Butt Butt to get our yum yum from Duncan. Uh, he is bringing me home today because early. I'm doing a walk today with Danielle. And I'm really excited about it, but my eyes really hurt and I think my allergies are gonna be horrific today. So I'm not looking forward to that. To walk for a good cause and to wear my shirt that I made, I'm really, really excited about it. I'm just really not feeling good. There's this guy just sitting in his car watching me hi watching me vlog <laughs> that's the usual story of my life so i know as soon as i get home the sneezing is gonna begin my eyes are gonna kill me i have to have a lot of tissues on me and i'm probably not gonna take my sunglasses off and i'm not wearing makeup today hold on double chin no i hate this i hate this part of my neck so my chin so much danielle's supposed to get me around 8 30 which you guys know she's always late to everything so We'll see if that happens. My hair is so greasy right now. But when I get home, I'm gonna have to get ready. Do something with my hair. I don't know, maybe I'll braid it. Maybe I'll just leave it, I don't know. Get water together, stretch, put on deodorant. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, it's gonna be exciting and I hope I vlog it. I really hope I get the chance to vlog this because this means a lot to me. For me and for you guys and my friends and my family that have mental illnesses. And especially for my uncle that, you know, took his life because of you know, the shit going on in his head and that really still upsets me to this day. So I'm really happy that I can do this and help raise awareness. Can you like leave or are you gonna stare at me? Cause like, cool. But here comes Buff Butt and I'm gonna eat. Now you leave, you fucking dick. That guy literally just sat there and stared at me for like five minutes. And he cut his hair. <laughs> Yay, I'm vlogging, we're walking. Does anyone feel weird about me vlogging now? Okay, good. Cause Life. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Y'all probably already saw my shirt on Instagram already, so there's really no need to show it, but. It's like a 0.3 mile walk, though. That's it? Yeah. They said you could go around as many times as you want. I just read the email before we came in here, and I was like, okay. I Me, mean, it's fine. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna be fit. Get my bikini body. <laughs> My son says to me, hey mom, Alex would like to come and stay for the weekend with us. 
and I just want you to know that he's been diagnosed with bipolar. So I said, he's more than welcome to be here. I knew uh, some things about bipolar because after I was elected, mental health was an issue that I decided to really educate myself on. I thought it was important as a legislator and someone on human services that I should understand what's going on in the area where I live. So we came to the house and my son was overwhelmed. He was overwhelmed with the box, the box of medication that he walked in with and he was overwhelmed with how his friend looked. His friend was a zombie and he was like, mom, what is going on here? Why are they doing this to him? And I had to explain to him with bipolar, right? Until you find the right medication and what works for you, there's a lot of trial that goes on with it. And it was very disheartening for my son to have a friend and to see what he was going through. So, you know, doing these walks and letting people understand what mental health, what mental illness is about, and that there is hope out there, and there are groups out there that want to help. This is so important. And if we do it together, we make Connecticut a stronger state. You know, Connecticut is ranked seventh in the country for what we do with people with mental health issues, right? With the education and the services that we provide. And I think that, you know, part of what we've done as a state, which I think is so important, is we do mental health first aid for teachers, <laughs> right? Helping teachers be able to identify our young people because they see them first, right? We all know that. And they spend the most time with these individuals. So we all need to be able to educate ourselves on, on mental health issues and how we can help. So thank you guys so much for being here. I think this is a great start, and I said to Rachel, if we do this again next year, I'm going to get the Commissioner of Demas here because she is a wonderful, wonderful person, and I know she would love to be here. So thank you guys, really, for being here today and enjoy this. Hello, everyone. today I would actually be doing something but I'm not it is now almost seven o'clock in the evening it's Monday tomorrow technically well technically 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 I'm back to school now for the summer semester I have my first night class tomorrow I'm not really thrilled about it I have one class fully online two that are night hybrids on Tuesdays and Thursdays hopefully they actually are hybrids what really pisses me off the fact about a hybrid course okay let me just say for the record 
is that like the teachers can technically pick what days they want online they could do every other week which is a normal hybrid however the past few times i've had a hybrid course with these two professors in particular in my program they literally have maybe three or four online classes and everything is like on campus which really fucking sucks because being in the summertime you know like it's just really annoying to me personally like i'm not trying to complain like i'm in school to get an education you know like i'm grateful for that but it's just really fucking annoying when you sign up for a hybrid class half online half on campus and it's like pretty much 95 percent on campus it's like especially in the summertime the next few months I just want to say I am planning on getting a job again I know I haven't still been to the doctor yet but I'm feeling better enough where I want to get back to work and this is going to be my last year going around this is my last summer semester ever I hope <laughs> with school and I'm really happy and I'm really thrilled about that I cannot wait for this year to be done 2017 2018 I will have my bachelor's degree I'm graduating in about less than a month with my associates and I'll graduate next year with my bachelor's and I'll be fucking done and I'll be married and I'll have a job and I'll have a life. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a little reaction right now because I love Shannon Rose so much and Travis and literally every time she did like a live pregnancy test when she was doing the uh, other, I forgot what it was called, before IVF I cried because I was like, it's not fair. Finally got my fidget cue. I love this thing so much. I cry because I just feel so much for for them wanting to have a baby, and that always kind of scares me in the back of my head. Like, what if I'm in that position? Like, how am I gonna deal with that? But since this vlog is called devastating news from our doctor, I think uh, pretty much goes without warning. And I think if if and when when she has a video saying that she's pregnant, I'm gonna just lose my shit. So here we go. So right now, by there's a, another day or two before you guys have to freeze them. Or are they able to kind of hang out for? If we, so we're gonna, so we basically just have one, or we're gonna see by the end of the day if there's more than one, or by tomorrow. Because what I'm saying is, because what I'm looking at is, if there's only one, is there even a point to do the chromosome testing? It truly, like, I don't even know them, they don't know me, but it just breaks my heart because I know how bad that they want a baby and it just really upsets me because I feel like they just, they, after everything that they've gone through, they deserve a baby so much. And it's just so sad because I, I think all of us that watch them just want them to have a baby and be happy and just want everything to work out. They've been through so much crap, and it's like, really? And honestly, I'm not even really listening to half of the shit the doctor's saying in the video, because, like, meh. <laughs> I don't expect, like, Shannon and Trav to watch this. I don't expect, like, any of you guys, to, I, you guys really were like, why the hell are you crying? It's sad. And they deserve to have a baby. Hi guys, so this is my first night of class of the summer semester and I am stressed out. I'm dizzy as all hell because I ended up stretching really hard and I've just been dizzy the rest of the day. Also, also more updates. I cannot get into my blackboard. Well, I can, but my summer classes are not there. 
and I'm assuming it's because it has to do with the fact that my schooling is still under my associate degree and since I'm hoping to graduate with it in a month um, I'm still going to school for my bachelor's since I was doing both degrees at the same time I just had to Oh, I just had a whole conniption with Blackboard and I was like, what's going on? They were like, you do have classes, but they're blocked. You need to contact your registrar. So I just contacted someone from the registrar. Hopefully they can confirm that because I do remember my advisor giving me a paper saying that to switch it and I was meaning to go back and to give it to the registrar and go to financial aid and confirm it and everything and never did. Now I can't find the fucking papers, so that's just my life. And I have one full class online. I'm sh pretty sure tomorrow would be the last day that I can post in a discussion board if we have one. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on in my classes right now. I'm so freaked out. I have a class tonight. The professor from language and literacy, which if you guys remember my fall semester vlogs, I think I avidly talked about that time and how much of a hell job that was. So about 4.30, I'm supposed to leave in 45 minutes. I'm gonna put on some makeup, just try to look presentable and brace myself for impact. Because you guys, if you remember me talking about language and literacy and how that professor, like, she's like no nonsense, like, I will cut you, <laughs> you know? Yeah, the first night of the class is always the roughest for me personally, because I feel like they bring up things that I've done to not do. You guys get what I mean? I've talked about it in a few videos. I haven't really vlogged that much yet this week. I'm gonna get ready now and nah. <laughs> nah. I don't want to go to class and I'm really scared and I just hope that I can get this all fucking figured out. I am an idiot, honestly, you guys. Like, if your advi Hi. If your advisor ever gives you something that you have to, like, go and bring and confirm to change that, go and do it. Yeah. Hi guys. So I'm out of class early. An hour early. Yay. And uh, I guess Claro and Ween went inside to go to the bathroom. So I'm just hanging out out here in front of the car. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah. So I'm a complete fucking idiot. And I will tell you all why. Because I thought that my blackboard wasn't working. Like I thought like something happened or I fucked something up with like school because it wasn't working like at all it wasn't working for me and I was still seeing my classes from last semester okay so I went to a huge panic contacted blackboard they were like no just check with your registrar's office I emailed someone from the registrar's office being like oh my god my stuff doesn't work and then later come to class and find out that we have a whole new blackboard system because I guess ours was connected with the Connecticut learning service thing I don't know basically we were like on a server with all these other schools basically all these other colleges and now we're we have our own link so now I can actually use the blackboard app which is awesome and I totally did not know this at all like I had no fucking clue whatsoever no email you know nothing so I went into class and my professor's like, oh yeah, we have a new Blackboard system with a whole new link. So the link you've been going to is wrong. And I was just like, <laughs> really? You want to try a bitch right now? Like, mm. So that happened. I'm happy that nothing's all messed up. And I really hope that uh, I get approved for graduation because <laughs> I suck and my grad expo is on Saturday. And I just applied for grad today. Hello everyone. So here's a mess. That's the usual. Still very happy that it's growing in, you guys. I could actually like do that now with it and like put it all to the front. Why? I'm so happy. Just wanted to pop in and say hello. Happy Wednesday. Class last night was okay. It wasn't like as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but for this class anyway, so I'm really happy about that. I mean, there's still gonna be like a lot of work with it, but not as much as like language and literacy, which you guys know. I had this professor for language and literacy and like it was so much fucking work. I felt like I was in a level 300 class, which it was a 200, so yeah. And I also explained last night why I'm a fucking idiot with Blackboard, so I feel really bad. I'm gonna do some homework later today. I'm not filming because I wanna get caught up in the vlogs and um, I'm gonna do some stuff tomorrow and I'm gonna film tomorrow. I'm probably gonna do a get ready with me. Can we take a moment to acknowledge that there are bottle openers on these sunglasses? What bottles am I gonna be popping? Explain. Explanations. No bottles.